the dam had been built in the 1930s on uh, a bog uh, base. The construction crews did not clear the bog to the to the uh, to ground rock or to the bedrock, and instead built this dam out of earthen uh, materials and uh, backed up water that had been used in the uh, ensuing years for irrigation for farming at low elevation in the valleys nearby. So this, this site was at 9,000 feet in the Wasatch Plateau, and this is what the construction site looked like when I got there. There were uh, dozens of uh, large heavy equipment, uh, machinery, uh, probably 30 construction workers on the site, and it was clear that they were urgent because this was August, and in the Wasatch Plateau, at high elevation, winter sets in as early as September. So they were urgent to keep the uh, repair work going, and they wanted me to tell them that it was okay, they could keep working, and they wouldn't have to stop. I realized when I got there that it was not going to be a dinosaur excavation or a dinosaur discovery, but instead it was going to be a discovery of uh, probably one of the animals that lived during the Ice Age, about uh, between 2 million and 10,000 years ago, when much of high elevation Utah was under uh, glacial ice. Part of the glacial episode at the end of the Ice Age had continental glaciers extending as far south as Ohio and Indiana and Missouri, and uh, extensive glacial uh, development in high elevation uh, mountains, including in our own San Francisco peaks. So this was a, clearly a, a glacial situation, and th that rib turned out to be key 